Hey everyone, Rob Wiseguy82 here, and uh, this is going to be my top 10, uh, well, probably a few more than that, uh, books in my collection. I was uh, unofficially tagged by a uh, comic book junkie, and uh, if I'm not mistaken, Chris is the one who started this over at We Love Comics, and uh, Man, been some awesome books up so far, so, uh, maybe like one or two that I, or just one that I've seen. I tried to pick out some books that I haven't seen. Uh, actually, there's a couple in here, now that I think about it. But, uh, <clears throat> there should be, man, I wanted to pull some books that I haven't showed in a while, but I gotta tell you, I haven't done one of these, uh, top tens in a while, and it was, now that it's, uh, and it's actually gonna be, uh, two years i think july 20th is uh gonna be my two year uh anniversary for youtube and uh man is it a hell of a lot harder now to pick my top 10 books out um than it used to be for sure for sure uh a couple that i just did and you know i was thinking well you know some books that are you know my favorite artist or you know so a couple of them i got are my my more expensive books, my rare books, so not necessarily favorite artists or anything, but just a couple that I really can't believe that I have, things like that. So uh I definitely got more than 10 though. So <clears throat> anyways, um let's see. As per usual, Got a nice beer. Uh, this right here is Dogfish Head. Uh, this is the 90 minute IPA. Uh, there's a 60, 90, and then 120 minute. Let's see. Yeah, you can see it right there. 9%. This is a really, really, really good one. This is one of my favorites. <clears throat> Usually don't see this. This was in uh, the Make Your Own Six Pack. I got a couple of them. <clears throat> Mmm. Oh, fantastic. Mmm. 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 Okay, so <clears throat> I kind of don't... Well, I just got these up for my back, my background. Um, <clears throat> David Mack is one of my favorites. And this is the, uh, the cover BRC for American Gods. This is one of the new ones that just came out. And these are supposed to be, uh, for this tag video, your, uh, modern comics. <clears throat> Sorry. David Mack, he's one of my, probably my favorite with watercolor. And then Ashley Wood, just, I mean, just absolutely incredible painter. You've got a bunch of demons, looks like a badass. With a badass. Uh, Amazon Warrior, this is Zombies vs. Robots vs. Amazons, and his just, his painting is just, ah, man, I mean, it's just something else, something else, <coughs> <coughs> so, uh, this is my most recent absolute favorite, one that I have been probably trying to get in my collection for over a year, well, uh, uh, about a year and a half, actually. This is uh, J.G. Jones. This is the 1 in 100 variant of Strange Fruit number 1. And it's a, it's a wraparound cover. Just an amazing, amazing story. This cover is just... And, you know, again, uh, every once in a while, Boom Studios comes out with these 1 in 100 variants. And uh, there's... I'll bet there's maybe 20... 25 30 copies of this book floating around um so i from what i found they only print about 5000 and if they did one per 100 then that's 50 copies but really how it works i guess is that <clears throat> they only print the ones that where where a shop has actually ordered that many so there's not too many shops that are going to order uh 100 copies of a boom studio book so uh yeah, and, and I've got I've got a lot of these guys, maybe like a half a dozen, you know, six or seven of them. 
uh, of those 1 in 100 variants, and I can find them cheap. Guys, I got this for $50. It's a 9.8 CBCS for $50. Guys, there's uh, that shop, I, and I, I mentioned this before, so uh, the shop in Houston, Space Cadets, had uh, assigned one of these at a 9.8. It's uh, the Signature Series. $499 they were asking for it. <clears throat> uh, the next one I'll do, well, this is probably, this is, yeah, we'll just get this one out of the way. So this is probably my actual favorite one in my whole collection. Uh, this is the Beauty Number no. 9. It's a great Jeremy Hahn cover. And look, you can see this has got the jizz everywhere. But whatever, that's not what the important thing about this one is. The important thing, even though it really isn't great cover. So the Beauty Number no. 9, I actually got a letter published in this book. And uh, the only company that would do it is CGC. And they actually put my channel name right there, baby. Come on. What? There it is. Letter to the editor from Rob Wise Guy 82 Awesome. So that's probably my actual favorite book in my collection, just because, <clears throat> and, and uh, CGC has never done that. I don't know if anybody else has done that, but uh, so as far as I know, I'm the first and only one who has their uh, name on a CGC label. This next one is uh, <clears throat> probably one of my most expensive books. Um... It's a, it's a, my only my first and only Stanley signature. I didn't get the signature. I would not have gotten the signature on this book, but um, it's my favorite for another reason. And this is uh, the Wolverine miniseries from 1982. <laughs> Number one, signed by everybody. Stanley right there, Len Wein right here. You've got Herb Tramp right here. You've got Louise Simonson right here, and then Joe. Is it Joe? Yeah, Joe Rubenstein right here. But the best part about this, guys, look at this right here. A sketch by Herb Tremp, the man himself. He's Herb Tremp is the one that drew that first panel of Wolverine in Hulk 180. <clears throat> Not 181, but that first panel in 180. Herb Tremp is the one that drew it. We no longer have him here. Uh, it's hard to see it. Signed it across his eyes right there. There's Herb Tremp. Uh, Louis Simonson, Joe Rubenstein, Stanley, Len Wein, one of the other creators. But there it is, guys. Look at that. Oh, original sketch from Herb Tremp. And it's a 9.8, or excuse me, a 9.6 CGC yellow label. <clears throat> All right, so this next book i'll show is uh I, I just can't believe i have it i got it for two dollars and this is <clears throat> the man actually like a little bit less a little bit less than two dollars this is the manhattan projects number one from uh, jonathan hickman and nick patara with two big ass awesome sketches from the man right there nick patara this is only signed by him it's not signed by hickman but one of these days it will be but um yeah, guys, um, so I got 1 through 25. This series came out a, a couple years ago. It is awesome. It's very deep. It's it's awesome. It's the traditional Jonathan Hickman. Um, auction came up on eBay, 1 through 25, so the whole series. And then another copy of number 1, this particular book right here, signed. So it was 26 books total. The starting bid was $50, free shipping. Damn it if I wasn't the only one who bid on it, guys. So I got this book for a smidgen under $2 with two big-ass sketches of Einstein and Oppenheimer. Excuse me, Oppenheimer are two main characters. And, uh, man, I, I just can't believe it. No, no reason I should have that book right there. Not for $2. <clears throat> this next one is my very first uh, commission sketch that I got done. Uh, this is on a blank cover of Oxymoron, The Loveliest Nightmare. It's from Comics Tribe, uh, an independent publisher. Uh, this is done by Alex Cormick. <clears throat> and uh, 
So these are some, so Oxymoron is this guy on the cover right here in the straight jacket. He is the villain of this particular story. This guy right here is Matter Red from Bedlam, Nick Spencer, uh, Image Comics. And then of course the man right here, Joker. So these are three of my favorite villains. <clears throat> and basically all I did, and this is a wraparound too guys, so all of this, he did all this, uh, Alex Cormick. Um, and then it's even like all these little white splotches are like raised up. It's, it's like, you know, like he splattered it on there and this is like smoke. And so basically this is the main character of the story. I told him, uh, you know, he's in an asylum and then matter red and the Joker broke in with explosions. That's all the smoke around him, uh, to free, uh, oxymoron. And, uh, so this was basically, it was fifty nine ninety nine. And I had no idea what to expect. I, it was all done uh, online. I typed in the description that I wanted for it. And, uh, it, you know, last thing I said was, I don't know what to expect. I've never done this before. I think I was only collecting comics for a few months at the time when I found this. And, uh, Mingya, when it came, holy crap. Absolutely amazing. Way more than I expected. And, uh, you know, like I said, guys, it's a wraparound cover as well. You can see the Joker's arm right there absolutely amazing they're all bloody because they killed everybody trying to get in to, to get him out and he just he freaking killed it yeah this is going to be a long video okay so this next one i haven't shown this one in forever guys so this is the one in 200 variant of uh batman new 52 number six that awesome classic greg capullo cover and the uh, the color version of it is the one that's also on the absolute edition of uh the Court of Owls storyline. Look at that. Freaking awesome. And I got this on the cheap too. Uh, okay, so this is probably, this is, yeah, this is, I showed you guys the uh, uh, Gabriel Del Otto Harley Quinn Rebirth cover. Uh, this right here is probably my other, yeah, my other favorite. This is uh, Dark Knight 3 Master Race number one. And, uh, <clears throat> yeah, just absolutely incredible with the moon it looks like it's really glowing you've got all the creatures behind him Ugh, just i mean it's like oh my god i just i mean you hear me guys i don't even know what to say when it comes to this guy he's just absolutely incredible i love those covers that he did for uh what was it the clone conspiracy Ugh. I get all the co covers I can from him. And then this is the black and white one. Uh, I think I like this one a little bit more just because the blood is the only thing that's not in black and white and it, on his fist right here. And then it's really slightly, it's hard to see, dripping right here in the water. Um, but look at that, guys. Just absolutely incredible. I just... Yeah, he's my favorite. <clears throat> Okay, so this next one is uh, another one of my more expensive books. Preacher number one. This is an awesome, awesome, awesome copy. Just an awesome copy. Nine. It, it, there's uh, just a little bit of stress on the back, I think, but nine, four, nine, six, maybe a nine, eight if it's a good day. Awesome. I love it. <clears throat> this right here is amazing. Which is number one from Scott Snyder. This is the New York Comic Con variant. Uh, Dustin Nguyen. And uh, I mean just absolutely incredible with the watercolors and the yeah. Big horror fan. One of my favorite genres. And this right here I am just really freaking waiting for a uh for another volume of witches but uh snyder can't seem to get away from batman so i know he's got some other stuff coming up too so we'll see <clears throat> another one of my favorite books is uh east of west and there's a, a few different covers for number one i've got all of them uh, this right here is the rarest one. This is the Diamond Retailer Exclusive. Um, 
This is, uh, I think there's a thousand of these guys. <coughs> there's only a thousand of them. It will have an awesome sketch. I'm not going to have anything quick done. It's going to be something super detailed. I'm going to spend whatever I need to spend on it. But this book will have an awesome sketch by uh, Nick Dragata. Um, the only little stupid thing that it has. Yeah, I think you can see the corner is what you're looking at. Sorry. Oh, yep. Just real quick. But nothing breaks color. It could get pressed right out. That's nothing. Uh, so that's freaking awesome. That's the bounty hunter. Um, okay, so uh, maybe I'll do this. I'm going to do an actual hardcover book next. There's only 26 of these. Uh, my Guilty Pleasure book is crossed from uh, uh, from Avatar Press. Uh, and this right here, crossed was started by Garth Ennis. Uh, preacher, boys... Punisher, Max, all that awesome stuff. Um, started by him, but a lot of our favorite writers have been on it, like Jeff Lapham, who does uh, Stray Bullets. Um, you've got Kieran Gillen, who's on The Wicked and the Divine. He did uh, a couple volumes of that. You've got Cy Spurrier, who did four volumes, who did uh, Weavers, uh, The Spire, he uh, did that. He did God Shaper, the number one that just came out. Um, uh, and of course, freaking uh, Alan Moore did a run on uh, called Crossed Plus One Hundred, um, and it's just it's definitely not for everybody. But I love it. Like I said, it's my guilty pleasure. I've got a lot of the really rare uh, rare books for it. This one in particular is the uh, Volume One hardcover. Of crossed and this is the letter sketch edition and my letter is um, well just I gotta freaking be careful because I haven't opened this. I've only opened this up like a couple of times guys so there's a sketch in here this is crossed and the artwork is uh, by Jason Burroughs Garth Ennis and Jason Burroughs and uh, and he did an actual awesome freaking sketch back in 2011 you can see and then my letter is s right there so one for each letter of the alphabet there's only 26 of these and i freaking got one of them awesome crossed guy got an arrow in his back freaking awesome Ooh, did you hear that Ugh. it's only like the fourth or f maybe fourth time i've opened this book it's freaking awesome if you guys want to pause it and get the synopsis of it. Ah, freaking awesome. <clears throat> I love it. I absolutely love it. It's the most disgusting thing I've ever seen, but it's awesome, and I love it. And what are you going to do about it? So this next one, speaking of disgusting, this is probably my absolute favorite horror miniseries by El Torres. And Guillermo Sana, El Torres, is on the storytelling, Guillermo Sana on the artwork. Now, these are special, special, special. Um, these are Hawkness variants. These are super limited. There's only 100, like I said, this is a four-issue miniseries. Um, so one, two, and three have print runs of only 100 copies for whatever reason. They only did 35 copies of issue 4. I'm going to show you guys that one. Uh, but this is Straight Jacket. <clears throat> I'm going to show you a couple of them. One of them, it's very disturbing. So any weak stomachs, you're warned. But um, So this cover right here, this is issue 3. And man, this is just the most amazing horror story it's tough to find uh, that, that first issue of uh, is pretty expensive, but um, I'm telling you guys, it's worth it. Find it. There's a heart or there's a uh, trade paperback of it. Uh, it's called Straight Jacket from L Torres E L and then T O R R E S. <clears throat> but uh, it, this is amazing. L Torres has done a bunch of really awesome things like Roman Ritual, um, which is of. Uh, west end which the witches of west end 
uh, Suicide Forest, The Veil. Check it out, guys, if you are at all interested in horror. But look at this, guys. This is just... So there's only 100 of these. These are Hawk Ness variants. <clears throat> Issue 1, 2, and 4 have a cover from Gabriel... Uh, excuse me, Guillermo Sana. But this one right here is from uh, Nacho, Tenorio, and Sergio Mora. Those are the artists on this. And it is just horrifying very disturbing yes but it's an amazing story uh, yeah absolutely amazing <clears throat> the thing that i don't like about this even though i'm so glad that i have it uh this is issue four guys and there's only 35 copies of issue four i think it absolutely sucks that they did that um basically means 65 people are not going to be able to complete their sets um and and i think that really sucks absolutely amazing amazing creepy it's it's perfect i love it ah oh, absolutely amazing these are easily some of my favorite books and i got the whole set i just wanted to show you a couple so these are you know for one spot i'm, I'm showing you a couple books <clears throat> and then the same thing with this one right here um yeah this is ashley wood uh comic book junkie showed this one too absolutely amazing niobe number one hawkness variant i love it there's only 100 of these and then i'll show this one too um and i forgot to look rahim <clears throat> i forgot to uh see the full name sorry about that but i'm 99 percent sure that there's just these two so this is niobe number two this is also the hawkness variant and there's only a hundred of these um done by a different artist but just look at the line work just look at how i just i never seen anything like this i don't think not with that kind of yeah i mean you can't even really call it cross hatching but just look at that absolutely amazing so uh, these two are definitely some of my favorites there's only a hundred of those uh and then the last thing i guess i'll show you guys is um and i'm gonna count it as one but it's my collection of uh, <clears throat> Deadpool, D-E-A-D, -E Deadpool, so Deadpool and Winnie the Pooh. Um, these are like mock comics, uh, but I mean, it's still, you know, Mike, uh, Merritt Michaels is the, uh, creator of, uh, Deadpool, which is a combination, like I said, of Deadpool and Winnie the Pooh. Um, these are super limited, mostly they're like convention variants, you can see this was the uh, controversial cover of uh, Albuquerque, the one that never came out. But they're super limited, guys. You can see, look at that, number 2 out of 25 in the bottom corner. So there's only 25 of these books around, guys. So the first one that I got, I've told this story before. Sorry if I'm repetitive, but I haven't shown these in a while. Um, the first one I got just happened to be number 2 out of 10. I think it was a Spider-Man one that I'll show here. Well, I'll just show that one next. Um, just happened to be number two, so I went online, I'm looking for some more of these, I thought they were awesome, this one just happens to be signed by Merritt, and, uh, I, I came across another one, and I was like, number two, I was like, you know, he says, do you poo, so that's the whole thing on, with this book, you know, poo, it's, so I'm thinking, wait a minute, what if I can get all number twos, and then you see AP, so that's artist proof. These ones are out of 10, so there's only 10 of these. This is the Phoenix Comic Con. So I'm like, so, you know, if I only get the number 2, whether it's out of 25 or out of 10, or some of them are 35, you know, this is Dead Poo, number 2. It kind of elevates, it, in my eyes, it elevated this collection. And uh, so I've got, I think, 7 or 8 of these now. And then uh, the last one I'll show you, because this is just getting long, 25 minutes. Um, you can see right there, number 2 out of 25. This is one of the newer ones, The Walking Dead Poo. Look at that. Absolutely amazing. So my Dead Poo collection, all of them, every one I have is number 2 out of something. And uh, so like I said, you know, I just I thought that kind of elevated that collection. It's my number 2 Dead Poo collection. Um, and that's it, guys. You know, I'll, I'll put this one back up here one more time just because, you know. Rob Wise got 82 right there on a CGC label. 
Um, this video is way too long. So many people have already been tagged. There's videos going up everywhere with this one. This is a good one. So uh, I know he said to tag seven people, but I'm going to let you guys go. I'm sure the majority aren't even going to make it this far. But um, yeah, that'll be it, guys. Peace, love, and comics. God bless.